What drug will you never touch again and why? Ambien. Was prescribed Ambien because I wasn't sleeping during a rough time in my life. I woke up in my truck parked in the driveway, with the keys in the ignition. No idea what happened. Did I sleepwalk drive? Did I hurt anyone? Scared me so bad I never took it again. Nicotine. I smoked two packs a day for almost 10 years and finally broke free about a year ago. Never again. Cooking. It doesn't do anything for me except make me want more cooking. I don't feel any more energetic or alert. I don't feel a sense of euphoria. I don't get anything out of it except the desire to do more cooking. Ether. Tried it once and it felt like downing two liters of cheap vodka while someone hits the back of your head with a sledgehammer. Heroin. Just hit 10 years clean a couple days ago. Now if only I could kick nicotine. Edit I'm overwhelmed by the outpouring of support. Big love to you all. Thank you so much to everyone that has commented and gifted awards, I am genuinely touched. Congratulations to everyone in this thread for fighting the good fight. I believe in you. Alcohol or cooking. I used and abused them for a solid 15 years of my adult life. Lost a house, my partner, and had a web of lies I hated being tangled in so October 3, 2017 I entered a 5-week inpatient rehab facility and haven't touched them since. Once tried crack. Knew right there and then that a second time would lead me down a path of no return. Xanax. Ruined my life for two years, very almost burned every bridge I had ever made. Almost ruined my family's life through borrowing money. Still in debt for 1k but haven't touched him in over a year and am in such a better place now than I ever thought possible while I was on M. Cooking. I've only tried it one time but I fucking hated it. My heart was pounding a thousand miles per hour. I couldn't stop talking about random bullshit, and I never really experienced any real euphoria that I've heard other people talk about. It just felt like caffeine times 100. I'll stick with weed, you guys can have it. Alcohol. One day beer and liquor just started hardcore fucking with my stomach and I don't really care about the social aspect of it so no more for me. Ginger beer for the win. Oxy. That shit gave me the most peaceful 24 hours ever. I see how people get addicted. I'll never touch it again. Benadryl mainly because I have jumping legs and it makes it way worse. At a time just talking about 125 milligrams tablet. Can't even do one. Spice. It's terrible. I smoked it one time to try to help with my withdrawal symptoms and it immediately made it worse. Never again will I touch it. I've also had friends addicted to it and it made them very sick. From bleeding internally to psychosis, it's super dangerous. I never understood how people love it so much. Cooking. It's a fucked up drug. Whenever I be completely shit faced and about to roam from too much alcohol, I do a couple of lines and be able to drink more without vomiting, but then I drink too much again and need to do a couple more lines. It's a vicious cycle. A part of my life I'm very ashamed of. Well, butyrin be propion. It made me angry and paranoid, and I ruined several friendships with my behavior before realizing I had an issue. I take full responsibility for what happened. But I wish I could explain to the people I lost that I'm not like that anymore. Venlafaxine. They have me on it for depression anxiety. It worked but it fucked my stomach. During COVID I ran out because I was having issues getting appointments and refills. The withdrawals were insane. My husband had to pick me up and take me home from work. It was awful and lasted days. They put me on something more mild after that. I would not do any drugs available on the street. There is too much of a risk today that they are laced with fentanyl. I was prescribed a low dose of opioid medication to help with my cancer pain until the chemotherapy kicks in. Took one pill and good lord, I hated it. I was still in pain but it makes me feel so euphoric, I just didn't care. I hated the disconnect. Nope. Not touching that again. Luckily, the chemo acted quick and I was completely relieved of pain. Weed. Ended up in some sort of psychosis not once, but twice. Both times were horrifying hours that felt like eternity. And every second was filled with paranoia and unfathomable fear. I was a passenger of my own body and mind. Codeine, makes me vomit and sleepy and gives me brain fog. When I broke a bone I had to take over the counter drugs as they couldn't prescribe me anything that wouldn't make me sick. Weed. Used it as a teenager in excess and it eventually gave me auditory visual hallucinations and as I abused it, they poured over into my sober self. Not considered a bad drug by most people, but there are definitely a few people that shouldn't do it. Weed. It benefits people in various ways and should absolutely become decriminalized legalized, but it's also incompatible with a lot of mental health issues. Made my OCD so much fucking worse but I thought I was being a pussy and kept trying to make it work. 
ultimately decided it's just not for me. I scrolled for 5 minutes looking for someone who says Kratom. Don't do Kratom. It is awful withdrawals if you start using it regularly. Psychedelics in general. Nothing much bad to say about him, but I got what I needed out of them at this point. Shrooms and or LSD. No one told me about SSRIs causing them to not work so I spent $40 to eat some nasty ass shrooms that didn't work. Phonics. Got hooked on it when I was young. I'm nearly 30 now and I still feel the effects in my day to day life. Weed and mushrooms. Awesome experiences with those when I was in my 20s. I'm just told now, I fear I'll get some sort of mental breakdown or heart attack if I take them now.